Okay, in the last video, we talked about adding menus and also how to add a page. Uh, now I want to show you how to actually work with our Cornerstone plugin and really work with content here. So we've got um, we've got our page here. There's not really anything on it. Um, and note that I did select the no container blank, no container header footer template, which will allow us to do some cool full width stuff here. So that's all good to go. To actually work with the Cornerstone plugin, go ahead and click here. And it will tell you that we have some content modified outside of Quarterstone. And we're going to overwrite that. So we just have that little bit of text there. Not a big deal. So I'm going to click Yes, Proceed. And now, as you can see here, it loaded that button. So to actually edit it, just click Edit with Cornerstone. Now what's going to happen is it's going to load up kind of that front end visual view. So as you can see, we're actually seeing the site. There's no content on this page now. but you can see it's nice and full width, and we can begin working on this now. So um, to get started, there's, there's something you kind of have to understand that um, Cornerstone organizes things based on um, kind of like three different levels. So you have sections, and so I'm going to add a section here. Click the button that says Add Section. And a section is this this whole, it's full width, um, and it is kind of the biggest building block of your site, OK? So you need to understand that. And then within this section, you're going to have um, both rows and columns. So, I mean, that makes sense. You know, it just it's just like an Excel spreadsheet or anything of that nature. Um, so um, right now, I'm just looking at the overview of all the um, sections. And if you ever click this button, it will bring you back here. So we could have more than one section here. So as you can see, there's two now and hovering over them shows us what they are. So let's call this one our... Uh, whoops. Uh, I want to name this one our intro section. So we can remember what it is there. Again, you can click this button, or right now I can click back to layout to keep seeing that. And then I'll just leave that one as section two now for, for no reason. Okay. So again, looking at here, we can click on this section and it will give us, it'll show us the um, rows and columns within this section. And within those rows and columns, of course, we're going to add actual content shortly. But for now, um, you'll see we have row one here. We could add another row. And you'll notice these are still both within that same section. They're just the two different rows. And by default, so if I'm selected on this row one within the intro section, you can also uh, do its layout, whether you want how many columns it has, basically. So this one, let's make it four columns. And then this next row. Um, you know, that one could be two columns. That's, so that's pretty easy to work with. And at any point, so like if I click on this column, I always look for this if you want to edit any specific part. So sometimes you don't know what you're clicked on. If I want to select that row here, I can click that or the section, I can click that. And um, the other thing to keep in mind as well, when you're working with sections, columns, and rows, all those, um, each of those has their own settings as well. So if you wanted like a background color, for instance, you can do that. Um, but you have to make sure it, it sometimes is confusing whether you're working with the settings of that particular thing or the layout. So for instance, right now, these are all the settings for the intro section, as you can see that it says we're on. If I wanted to change the background color, I could click this, select the color. Let's make it kind of a dark gray. Okay, and as you can see, the section you know encapsulates all of these, and so the whole thing has that dark background now. Um, whereas if we wanted to do the layout, you know what what rows and what columns there are, you'd have to click that layout button. Um, and so again, we've got these two rows here. So if I click on this row or this row from this layout screen, it will show me that. Um, and so it is kind of confusing sometimes to actually get to this screen, and I don't know if you saw I did that, but if you click this little magnifying glass, it'll bring you to the screen where you can change the background color or whatever you want to do to this to this uh, row here. And again, background color. Maybe we want these ones to be, this row to be white. Um, and again, we can go back to layout, and we can still this, see this screen again. If we want to work on one of these columns, you can just click right on it. And as you can see, we're in that edit screen for that. Maybe this one, maybe the column itself is going to be red. 
and that's how you would do that. Not not too hard. Um, there's also thing. I mean, you can see all the other settings. You can add padding to things, so that's just making it bigger on top or bottom, or you can see all the sides. Um, that's getting a little more in depth here, but um, so I probably won't really be covering that. But anyway, so now hopefully you understand kind of how the layouts work and all that. Now let's do some really basic just content editing and, and additions there. Um, let's say we want to have just kind of a big row here that has a dark background and some light text over it. Uh, I'm just going to delete this whole section because none of it is what I want. So what I did was click on the section and I just delete and then of course confirm. So we've got this one section here. Let's give it a dark background. Click background color. Um, there we go. And let's put some white text over here. To start actually actually adding some um, elements within here, so whether it's text or buttons or forms or whatever, you click here, and all the main ones are displayed right in this area here. Um, you know, there's a handful that I use mostly. One of them is a custom headlines. So let's go ahead and do that. You just drag it to wherever you want to put it, and there it is, and it automatically brings us to the edit screen. So we have the text here. Editing this, very easy. So let's make it say, um, here is a new headline for our website. Okay, and as you can see, it updates right there live. Um, now this doesn't look that great. It's, you know, black text on dark background doesn't look that good. So let's let's go ahead and let's fix that. Text color, let's make it white. Um, let's go ahead and make this centered as well. You got your text aligned. And there it is. Um, maybe even make it, um, you can see you can set a heading level, and this is really just how big it is. I mean, there's more to it than that, but you don't really need to worry about it. And you can have it look kind of bigger than the element really is. There's there's reasons you'd want to do that, but you really don't have to worry about it. Um, really, I mean, you should probably just have them be the same. Anyway, so I'm going to make an H1 because I want it to be huge. And so that's pretty big. I like that. Um, you know, let's tweak this a little bit. You know, I'd rather it be centered in the middle there. So what I'm going to do is... <coughs> add some padding to this section. So I clicked on the section again. We need to grow it on the bottom a little bit. So let's see what we got here. Padding. And on the bottom, it's currently set to 45 pixels. Let's set it to 65 and see if that makes it even. That just about does it. Maybe just a hair more. Let's bring it to 70. And that looks pretty centered there. So that looks pretty good. Um, oh, and at any point, you can click um, Save, and that will save it for you. And give you a weird message. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, if we want to add, I mean, just to show you how easy it is to add stuff, I'm going to go ahead and add another section here. This one, I want to have a white background. So I'm going to give it white, go back to elements. There's a text element in here. It's right there. Or you can even just search. Sometimes that saves time. Let's bring it in there and, um, brings up a little editor. here. You can have it just raw text, which is kind of like more just the code or just basic text, or you can do visual which will allow you to do things like bold, italic, just like Word would um, underline. And if you click this toolbar toggle, you can also get more items. So if you want to add a link, um, so you add the text there, hover over it, click insert add link, and then you might add in, you know, google.com. And now that's a link. Uh, anyway, I'm going to remove that. I just want some basic text. I'm going to repeat it a bunch of times. Ugly, but whatever. Um, and for these, you know, I'm, I'm I kind of want it to be centered. So let's there you go. You got some centered text. Um, you can highlight it in here and kind of make it more of those headings if you wanted to make it bigger. And I mean, it's all. Pretty basic stuff there. Otherwise, in the customizer later, I'm going to show you where we can change the size of um, of the fonts and whatnot. Um, anyway, so as you can see, that was really easy. I'll show you more here as we keep going, but I think next one I'm going to get, jump into the customizer.